Well, two Carroll College seniors in the anthro anthrozoology program are doing something that hasn't been done there before. They're fully training a service dog that will go to a veteran with PTSD. MTN's Melissa Jensen met with the students and the service dog named Major in training to learn more about the process. Yes, good boy! Ten-month-old Major is showing just one of the many skills he's learning in order to become a service dog for a veteran with PTSD. In this case, he's learning that a face in the hands or a bouncing knee indicate he needs to intervene. With Major, we're training these tasks for this veteran. I mean, it can, it's going to change his life. It's the first time Carol's Anthrozoology program will train a dog that will be in service. Normally program dogs, um, they're shelter dogs, they train with their students for about a year. They learn service dog tasks, uh, scent work, therapy work, however they're not going to be a working dog. They're not going to be a service dog, so they're placed in regular homes and they become great pets. But we're actually the first students to train a full working service dog. Major came to Carol through the program Dog Tag Buddies, which finds shelter dogs, trains them, and matches them with veterans. In this case, Allie and Maddie are also working with the Veterans Treatment Court in Great Falls. All of the folks who work there, the psychologists, the VA, judges, attorneys, all of them are just very dedicated to rehabilitating these veterans. And so adding a service dog is going to help with that. Yes, stay. Major will work with the students until the end of the school year, at which point he will work with his veteran to make sure they're a match. It'll be great to get him to meet the veteran as well, uh, to see how their dynamic is. We have one picked out, but we just want to make sure that they're truly going to be a great match. In Helena, Melissa Jensen.